President Fernando Lunes responded to criticism over a lack of action by firing a warning shot at his Spanish counterpart, Pedro Sanchez, and to complaints from his junior coalition partner, Junts per Catalunya. This is Catalan News in 100 seconds. Aragonés has demanded agreements from the Spanish cabinet in the dialogue table, warning that Pedro Sánchez needs Esquerra support to govern in Madrid. The Catalan president also rejected criticism from coalition partner Junts and said he felt annoyed they raised concerns in the media instead of privately with him. Former president Puigdemont, meanwhile, called for respect for the political strategy in exile. Barcelona residents have called on authorities to strengthen the public health system, criticizing that more are now contracting private insurance, while no measures have been proposed to counteract this. Els veïns i veïnes de Barcelona no podem ser només espectadors davant l'enèsim intent de desmantellar el sistema sanitari públic. The Port of Barcelona made 38 million last year, improving on results from 2020 but falling short of those of 2019. However, the facility saw a record high number of containers be moved in and out. Anirem recuperant les xifres pre-pandèmia al llarg del 2022. Arribarem a la mateixa xifra a desembre del 22, ho veurem. The European Parliament has backtracked and will not warn of possible cancer-related illnesses on wine labels, but instead urge people to drink responsibly. Catalan parties were split on the decision, but most voted in favour of amending the tag, helping ease the worries of Catalan wine growers. Residente, Hot Chip, Mute, these are just some of the big names that will be performing at Barcelona's Cruilla Music Festival this summer. The music festival welcomes international artists again this year after focusing on local groups when travel was restricted last year due to the health crisis.